All right, welcome to yet another episode of Spatry's Cup of Linux. And in this episode, I'm going to answer a question that was asked not only on my channel, but on this week in Linux's channel as well. Um, you, most of you will remember the wonderful podcast that we just had with the Linux A team. And actually, uh, we had uh, some issues with Skype and that sort of thing, and we had some background noise and such. And so I wanted to clean up all of that audio and uh, put everything together and that sort of thing. So what I'll do in this episode, I'm going to uh, do a quick review of Audacity and then uh, we will do a new noise reduction sample and we're gonna do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux! Okay, let's begin. All right, now I am running Audacity version 1.3.14 beta, which uh, came from the Arch repository, not the user repository, but the uh, main uh, repositories for Arch Linux. And I decided to give Audacity another spin. Now, uh, for many years, I've used Adobe Audition, and I was able to actually get that working under Wine for all of my noise reduction and audio editing. But much to my surprise, when I uh, tried Audacity this time around, I am simply amazed with how well this product has matured, and it has now replaced Adobe Audition, and I am using this as my primary sound editor in Linux. All right, now, one of the nice things that I like about this is if you want to use your own recording, you can select whether you're using also POS Audio or Jack. You can define uh, your output device and you can define your input device on this uh, quite well so that you can uh, do your recordings. Also, another nice feature is that if you're a screencaster like me and you're using FFmpeg or Kazam or any of those out there, uh, you can actually open up your video files and edit the audio and then remerge them later in a video editing application and I will show you that in a little bit here. Alright, first let's go ahead and uh, open a file and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the video file that I created uh, just a few moments ago. Alright, and it'll take a moment for this file to load. Okay, since this is also a review on this product as well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you can do with the software. Okay, now you have a number of effects that you can apply to your uh, audio, and there are a number of plugins that come preloaded with this. Okay, and each of these uh, plugins have different little features that you can tweak and mess around with. So if you wanted to add an echo, you could just simply define the factors that you're looking for, hit the preview button, and it will actually uh, give you an idea of how your audio is going to sound. Obviously, I'm not going to use any of these effects because all I'm going to do is a, uh, is a uh, noise reduction sample on this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And you have a number of different analyzations that you can do with your audio. You can generate noise, silence, tones. Uh, there are tracks. You can convert a stereo track to mono if you want to. You can mix and render. You can resample. This has really uh, gotten powerful and there is a lot of documentation that you can check out online. I would highly recommend that you do that uh, before messing with this. But all in all, they have really improved this and um, uh, I just can't sing this free software enough praises. Okay, now, let's get into our audio reduction uh, portion of this. You will see here, what I've got is a little bit of audio uh, here where I am not speaking. And if I play this, you will hear some background noise. I'll play that again. All right, maybe you could hear that, maybe you couldn't hear it. I don't know if the microphone actually captured that. But the thing is, when you have background noise, and in my case, the air conditioner puts up a high-pitched tone in the background sometimes, I actually find that I have to run my video footage through this software. Okay, so what we'll do is, we've already selected a noise profile right here. And then what I'm going to do is go into Effect, and then Noise Removal. Once you have that area selected, you can select Get Noise Profile, and it will close the application. Now, just simply double-click 
to select the whole waveform and then under effect you'll select noise removal again and then you will move the slider based on how much of that noise you want removed. I found that the number 28 is the best for me for uh, the particular sound in this room, but you may have to play with it a little bit. Too much noise reduction will make it sound like your your uh, talent is talking in a tin can, and you really don't want that. So uh, what I usually do is I set that at a uh, about 28. And then just press, you can press preview. I'll just press OK. I know I have this setting the way I want. And then the algorithm goes through and it processes this. And as you can see now, that noise level has been reduced to nothing. Now we can take this and bring this into our, bring this into a video editor and we can play with it further. Okay, so to do that, let's go file and then export and then I will export this in the same folder that I have all of my video footage I chose an mp3 file and then I use the same name as the video clip and that was 00 in this case and I'll go ahead and press save and then OK and then it will go ahead and process that clip and then next I'm going to show you how to remerge this with your video using Caden Live Okay, with Caden Live open, let's go ahead and import our footage, shall we? We'll press Add Clip, and then we'll go into our directory where we have our video and our audio file. You will see I have 00MKV and 00MP3. So I'm going to just press Shift and click, oops, I mean Control and click these two files, and then Open. All right, now that we have them in here, what we need to do is we need to drag 00.MKV over to the timeline. And you will see here that if you have uh, Caden Live set up to grab your uh, video and uh, audio thumbnails, you will see that you have them both here. We will then right click on this and then we will select split audio. Once you have the audio split, you'll need to right click again and then ungroup the clips. Then you can click on this and press the delete key and it will get rid of that audio. And then you will take your new audio footage and pull it in. Okay, and then when you go onto the project monitor, you simply just need to press play to make sure you have perfect synchronization. Right, welcome to yet another episode of Spattery's Cup of Linux, and in this episode, I'm going to answer... And we could tell that the audio was perfectly uh, clean and clear without any hiss in the background. Okay, now let's do this in open shot. Okay, now, merging your audio, your cleaned up audio with video in OpenShot is even easier than doing it in Caden Live. Let me show you how this works. Okay, first we're going to import our files, and then we are going to go into a backup folder and to my cup of Linux, and we will select these two files, 00MKV and 00MP3, and then just select to add them. Now, we'll just go ahead and drag our 00MKV, the video footage first, and then the 00MP3, and we will put this right underneath it. And then on this track, all we need to do is just mute the volume. And then when you export your video, you will see that this will actually... All right, welcome to yet another episode of Spec. Okay, and then again, it's still clean. So now, this is what you. This is the method that you will use to uh, merge your new audio, and then you know keep the noisy audio out of this video. Well, if you thought this tutorial was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date. Every time I send a new video up to this channel, I want to thank everybody for all of their feedback on our last Linux A-Team special. We've got another one coming up within the next two weeks, so you'll definitely want to catch that one as well. Also, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions as best as I can, and if I do not know the answer, I'll at least try and point you all in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.